it's, it's tragic. Tonight we are continuing to follow a heartbreaking story involving a father and his teen daughter. This week they were found dead inside of a burned car in East Cleveland and today they were identified as 39 year old Paul Bradley and his 14 year old daughter Paris. Paris was a student at Bedford High School. Channel 3's Ray Strickland joins us there now and Ray it sounds like she was a beloved student. Yeah, Drew, we talked to a parent of one of her friends who told us that she was loved by all of her classmates. She also told us that they all can't believe that she's gone. Tonight, an unthinkable tragedy, two lives stolen, and what many would describe as just a pure act of evil. Horrible, horrible. She was 14 years old, her entire life ahead of her. Paris Bradley and her father, Paul Bradley's lives cut short, stolen, a next door neighbor, heartbroken. Me and my wife couldn't sleep all night because just thinking about the girl, it, you know, broke us up. The two were found in a burned rental car, dead Wednesday morning on Savannah Avenue in East Cleveland. Hours later, that car led police to Bradley's home in Bedford, where they later found rented that car. The house reeked of gasoline. It appeared there was a struggle inside. If anything commotion would have been going on or screams, I would have heard it. I heard nothing. Tonight, East Cleveland police detail a night of unimaginable violence. They tell us the two were forced from their beds, the 14-year-old tortured, her dad tied up from his hands and feet. Investigators say Paul Bradley was likely alive before the car was set on fire. They say Paris was likely already dead. For their lives to be taken in that manner, yeah, it's, it's sad and troubling. I, I don't know how you can do that to a, you know, a young girl like that. Jerry Zell says Paul was a good neighbor. His daughter, he says, played outside with friends, both always friendly. He never expected for anything like this to happen or for anyone to be able to commit a crime so violent. It's so fresh, it's just, I, you know, I still can't believe they're gone. And we're also learning tonight that there will be a candlelight vigil and balloon release here at the Bedford High School for Paris sometime tomorrow. East Cleveland police say they still do not know who did this, but they and the uh, Blue Ribbon uh, Arson Committee are offering reward money uh, that's totaling more than $7,000 for information. So they encourage you at home to give them a call. Reporting live in Bedford, Ray Strickland, Channel 3 News. Let's hope people come forward. Ray, thank you.